snap to Broadway, looking to throw, and fires the pass out to the right. A catch made and a broken tackle, and that's going to be a first down. The ball's out at the 30, 28-yard line after the catch made by Harry Peoples, but they're going to rule him down. And I really think that ball was out. Now, whether, whether it is so defined on the replay that they can overturn the call on the field, but so they, they secured them last week. After further review, the runner was not down when he fumbled. The ball was recovered by Florida. First down, Florida, on the 28-yard line. Caleb Sturgis, 38-yard field goal try, right hash. The ball is on the way, and book it. Sturgis now needing just five more field goals to tie Jeff Chandler for the most in Gators history. The Raging Cajuns on a first down with Terrence Broadway back to pass and fires a deep ball toward the right sideline. He's got Daryl Surgeon at the 45 and cuts to the middle of the field across midfield to the 40-yard line. It's still running down to the Gators 36-yard line and that goes for 54 yards on a pass play to Daryl Surgeon of just inside 50 yards. There's the snap, the set down, the kick is up, on the way, turning into a veranda, and it is good. That's a career tying, well, just under his career high. Bayer knocking one in from just under 50 yards, ties the game. Reed is in the slot to the right. They have twins to the right, single receiver left, and here's Driscoll going to run the ball to the 20, off to the left side, and up to the 25-yard line as he faked the handoff and kept it, and looks like he has a 10-yard run for the first down. Thrown 25. Driscoll in the pistol, takes the hand off to Gillespie, going to run it again, left side at the 30, at the 35, still on his feet, the 40, it's still on his feet across the 45 on the far sideline, and getting up near midfield, out to the Gators, 49-yard line on a 24-yard run from Driscoll. Ball is on the left hash, snap to Driscoll, throws the screen here to Hines, right side, 45, 50, still on his feet in Cajun, Cajun territory, near first down to the Cajuns' 43-yard line, that should be the first down for Hines. Clock running, Gators come no huddle. There's the snap to Driscoll, looking, looking, and throws the ball down the field. He's got Jordan Reed inside the 10-yard line, and a catch down to the 4-yard line. It'll be first down and goal on a bay of about 30 yards. Yeah, and... Twins to the right. Snap to Driscoll, looking right. Zings the ball to the end zone, and it is gone. Touchdown! Trey Burton on the touchdown catch of the end zone, his first touchdown catch of the year, and the Gators lead 9-3. to three. Burton lined up in the slot to the right. A touchdown pass from Briscoe to Burton. Final play of the half will be a knee taken by Terrence Broadway, and that's it. The teams head to the locker room here at halftime on homecoming in the Swamp. Our halftime score, Florida 10 and Louisiana Lafayette 3. Receiver to the right. Hines comes in motion and takes a handoff from Driscoll on a sweep. 30-yard line, 35, Hines 40, breaks the tackle, he's at midfield. A flag flies in on the play. He crosses the 50 and is out of bounds on the Gators sideline at the 44-yard line. That's a 32-yard run for Omarius Hines, pending a penalty. He does Personal foul. Such a Face mask on the defense, number 31. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. 29-yard line. Driscoll in the pistol, takes the snap, and fakes the handoff to Gillespie, runs the ball, near side 20, 15, Driscoll 10, he's at the 5, still down to the 5-yard line, where it's where he's tackled, and that's good for about 24 yards on the run by Jeff Driscoll. Receiver to the left, receiver to the right, and there's the snap to Driscoll, now hands it off to Reed on a shovel, and now Reed looks to throw the ball, and he fires to the end zone, and it's going to be dropped! It was a pass going to... The tight end, Clay Burton from Jordan Reed. It would have been a touchdown on a little razzle-dazzle. Caleb Sturgis to try the short field goal about an extra point distance. And it's up and it is good. And so the Gators book in the half with scores. And with 12.43 to play in the third period, timeout here on homecoming in the Swamp. Raging Cajuns start from their 23, and here's now a jet sweep coming to Harry Peoples around the left side. Peoples at the 30-yard line, sweeping left, and out to the 34. That's an 11-yard run. Third and five. Snap to Broadway, rolling right, under some pressure. Now going to run to the 40, and uh, try and get the first down, and will, as he goes across the 45, out of bounds on the far sideline at the 47-yard line. Seven-yard run on third down five. Cajuns first down, 47-yard line, a handoff to Harris, right side 50, 45, breaks a tackle by Josh Evans, goes out of bounds on the far side. That's a first down run to the 38-yard line of Florida. First and 10, 38-yard line. Here's Broadway on a play action, rolling right, bootleg throw, gets it to Peoples at the 25-yard line, far side, and Peoples out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Harry Peoples, his sixth catch of the game, opponents in the swamp this year. 
Snap to Broadway. Hands it off to Harris. Running up the middle of the field. And Harris is in for a touchdown for Louisiana Lafayette. His fifth rushing touchdown of the year. 220-pound Alonso Harris completes the touchdown drive. And it's now 13-9. There's the snap, and uh, Christie steps into it, and the kick has been blocked. And the Raging Cajuns are going to recover this ball and pick it up, and they're going to take it into the end zone and score a touchdown. Louisiana Lafayette blocks a punt and races the ball in as Daniel Quave, I believe it was Quave that picked it up, and scores. Twin stack left. Harris a one back set, here's a screen coming out to Peoples, left side at the 25, Peoples 30, 35 down the near sideline, across the 40 and across the 45, but they're going to say he stepped out of bounds, back near the 38 yard line. Third down and three, here come the Gators, and now Broadway rolling right under pressure, throws the ball out to the right, and it's going to be a catch, and it's going to be caught at the 38 yard line, a fine play in traffic out there, I believe it was Ian Thompson, the tight end, takes the snap. On play action, looks to swing it out here, throws it underneath, got him at the 20-yard line, the tight end of the 15 to the 10, and inside the 10-yard line, it'll be Jacob Maxwell, the tight end on the left, came in motion and took a pass to the near side as the holder. The snap, Thomas sets it down, Bear kicks it up, and it is good. About a 22-yard field goal, and so it's now 17 straight points for Louisiana Lafayette. Gators' best offense today came in a two-minute drill. First half. Here's Brissett to throw. Fires down the field for Reed, who makes the catch at the 15. He's in the 10. He's inside the 5. And down to the three-yard line. Oh, my. 38 yards down the middle of the field of Jordan Reed. Backs in an offset eye. Joyer and Gillisley. And Gillisley on a play fake. Brissett keeps the ball. Rolls to his right. Throws to the end zone. It's going to be caught. It is a touchdown. It is a touchdown. Touchdown, Gators. Oh, my. Quinton Dunbar in the corner of the end zone, but there is a flag down on the play. There's no foul for an eligible receiver downfield. The ball for the play, touchdown. There you go. Snap to Broadway, hands it off to Harris. Harris grabbed and tackled by Luches Purifoy at the 34-yard line. That brings up fourth down. Gators take one of their three timeouts off the board, so a timeout for Florida. Brett Bear into punt. Pop Saunders stands back at his 35-yard line. There's the snap. Gators are coming, and they block. The kick got a piece of it, and they can return it. It's going to be returned back for the Gators. Jelani Jenkins, he's going to go 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown! Touchdown! They blocked the punt, and it came right into the hands of the Gators, and they ran it back for a score with two seconds left in the game. Oh, my! The Gators have taken the lead 26-20. No, I've never seen anything like this team. Just insane how they pull these games out. Two seconds on the clock. Right here, the run up, and uh, there's the, the kick. It's going to come down at the 11-yard line, picked up at the 8 on a return back. 0-0-0 zero, zero, zero on the clock, and a tackle made at the 21-yard line. Josh Evans got down there to make the tackle, and the ball game is all over. Did you ever think at the end of the game against Louisiana Lafayette that you would see such excitement out of the Gator team and this crowd? Everybody's still here. Unbelievable finish.